The sandwich is practically an American institution. It is a basic essential for lunch boxes, parties, and picnics. As far as these boys are concerned, well, hamburgers and hot dogs are their idea of a really good meal. But there are sandwiches and sandwiches. When Sally Gasco and her mother bring guests home for a late snack after a movie, they have something special in the way of a sandwich in mind. Sally calls it tuna rare bit. Let's watch how she makes it. This is a sandwich for forks, an open face creation in other words, with a cheese, milk, and tuna fish mixture on top. The basis will be rye bread, mother's idea. She found that the spicy caraway flavor made a good contrast to the bland fish and cheese. So the edges won't harden and curl when toasted, and so they'll be easier to eat later, she cuts them lightly with a knife. Sally puts a cube, about a square inch, of butter into the top of a double boiler. A little butter finds its way into a great many dishes in this kitchen, not only for flavor, but as a blending agent. Part of the trick to entertaining unexpected guests is keeping on hand certain generally useful foods. One of these is cheese of an easy melting type, which Sally is going to use as a base for the rare bit. To speed the melting, she cuts this into slices in the milk and butter mixture, while mother butters the bread. The simmer flame keeps the water boiling gently while the cheese is melting so that Sally can go on to other tasks. She adds the canned chunk-style tuna fish, and notice that she uses a wooden spoon to avoid discoloration of the mixture. Although the tuna rare bit is fairly substantial food in itself, it is a good idea to add something for variation in color and texture. Mother is making a salad dish, celery, radishes, olives, and pickles. Sally adds potato chips to the menu. They used to be exclusively picnic fare, but they've joined the host of useful accessory foods which make entertaining so much easier and more fun for teenagers. The bread was toasted quickly in the broiler, and the rare bit is nearly ready to serve. Let's see, what will be the beverage? Mother thinks she'll give the guests a choice of Coke or milk. When you can offer guests a choice easily, it's a gracious gesture. Now it's time to serve. Two slices of toast are neatly arranged on each plate, and the filling, or perhaps we should say covering, goes on top. Sally knows you should serve cream dishes with extra caution, and effective carelessness here is no asset. Mother is a great believer in the aesthetic value of parsley, and of course it's good to eat, too. Now a touch of Tabasco for color and a taste surprise, and there's tuna rare bit a la Sally Gasco. As we said, there are sandwiches and sandwiches. A wise young homemaker using good techniques and equipment and a little imagination can turn a sandwich into festive fare. <laughs>